I'm very excited about this one. The day before Black Friday, the camera that I've had my eye on was at 24% discount. And so I was thinking on Black Friday, is it gonna be less than 20, is it gonna be more than 24% discount? Should I wait? And I was like weighing it up and trying to decide. And also there was uh, 15 available units at that price. So I was watching this and it went down to nine available the day before Black Friday. And I just decided, let me check and see what's the best discount discounts I can find kind of historically on Canon gear. I kind of saw only around 25%, maybe 30, but so I decided to just pull the trigger, bought the thing at 24% discount on Black Friday, it went back to full price. So I'm very happy that I got it the day before. I'm very thankful. Hey buddy that I got it the day before Black Friday. So I thought let me unbox it and then I'll talk about why I got this one. So let's open it up. Oh, we can't use a small knife. We have to use an obnoxiously big knife. This is a YouTube unboxing. Hang on, here we go. This is the biggest knife I've got. Mmm. I kind of see the appeal of the big knife. Mmm. This is from Take A Lot. It's South Africa's version of Amazon basically because Amazon won't deliver here. So the reason I decided to upgrade the camera now is that I'm going to Thailand in February and I needed a camera that uh, does autofocus. I'll talk about that in a minute. I'm not taking my computer with, I'm only taking the iPad. So the first thing I got is this lightning to SD card reader. It'll allow me to take the photos straight off my car camera through my iPad onto Google Drive so that they're off straight into the cloud while I'm away in Thailand so that nothing can go wrong with it. So that's the first thing. There's a manual for something that literally only has two ends. Why would you need a manual for something that has a slot on one side and a plug on the other? What would you need to find out? This 19 page book. So that's the first thing. Very nice. The next thing I got is a microphone. Go, go, go. The microphone that I've been using is one that I borrowed from a friend who very kindly lent it to me kind of indefinitely. He said, use it as much as you want and, and if it works for you, make me an offer to buy it from me. And so I was going to buy this one from him, but I decided this one is the Video Mic Pro. It's pretty compact, but it's, it's a little delicate and I was a little bit nervous of taking it to Thailand and also it wasn't mine yet. So I would feel very uncomfortable taking somebody else's tech to Thailand and it's in my backpack and all of that sort of thing. So I did some research and I found the Video Micro. It's also a road, but it's, it's kind of a little bit more stable. It doesn't have these little wiggly little rubber feet to make it sort of sound dampening and all that sort of thing. We'll do a test comparison of the audio of this now now, but let's have a look at it so long. Mm. <laughs> So, there's video mic, row, gamut, please don't destroy that one. So fun fact, here's an interesting little thing about microphones. You get these super fluffy things, I'm sure you've seen it on like kind of news, news anchors with their microphones that have a big fluffy thing on it. It's basically just a sound dampener for if you're outside in the wind, but they call it a dead cat. Uh, so, that's pretty funny. But what's even more funny, so the Video Micro also comes with one of those fluffy guys, but they don't call this one a dead cat, they call this a dead kitten. <laughs> Which is like heartbreaking and funny at the same time. So here's the little dead kitten that slides on there for sound dampening. Wow, it is tiny. Look at, look at the size of this thing. I mean, it's, it's pretty tiny. When you compare it to that, that picture is pretty much life size. And then we've got this guy here. That's pretty tiny. So here we've got our warranty. Got the little clip. It's red. So there's that. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. We have a nice little cable. A little stretchy cable. And it's even got the little branding, the road branding on the little cable, which is pretty nice. 
Where's the dead cat, you guys? Did you already steal it? So, that's that. We'll do a sound test now. No. So, the next item. This is the lens that I've been using just about for everything. 24mm prime lens. It's very nice. You can see it's very, it's very slim. The one trouble with this is that the field of view is still a little tight. So, if I'm walking with the camera, it's still very close and you'll you'll remember from my you'll remember from the comic-con and rage videos like it was very close into my face so what I got this bad boy is a 10 to 18 millimeter it's only 4.5 um, f stop but this uh, this lens will give me a wider field of view when I'm doing sort of selfie mode so let's have a look at that guy all right so i'll also do a comparison of the field of view on this one once we've had a look some nice bubble wrap packaging here very nice mm. oh my Look at that, yo, look at the size of that glass. So it's got the auto, it's got the stabilizer built in as well, which is quite nice, um, nice for vlogging. So a little bit of extra stability. No, you guys, no. That little bit of extra stability is gonna come in handy. If we compare it to a 50 mil, uh, this is just a, a plain old nifty 50, 1.8 and you can see it's quite a bigger lens so it's it's quite quite a bit taller and I, i'm really confused by that because the 24 mil is so narrow it's less than the 50 so i don't know why this one has to be big like this i guess it's the zoom i guess it's the zoom mechanism who knows photographers will okay so there's the lenses very nice very exciting so now the big one, my credit card is dying. But what I decided to do was upgrade my camera body. I've got the Canon 60D and that's what I'm filming on right now. And I've really loved the camera. It's a beautiful camera. It's so easy to use. It's, it's got great manual features. It's, it's super, I really love it. It takes amazing photos as well. Um, I took some awesome photos of uh, myself and a friend earlier this week and the photos are beautiful so everything is perfect with it with my trip to Thailand coming up I realized the two limitations of this camera the 60D um, are gonna be a bit of a problem when I'm when I'm in Thailand and that's first first of all um, there's no um, slow motion the second thing is that there's no autofocus. This is fine for when I'm doing like my rehash vlogs where I'm standing in one spot and you know I set the focus and even this one I set the focus to where I'm going to be sitting and there we go you know then I come and sit here and it's perfect. The trouble is when you're walking around if you're doing a walk and talk vlog where you want to show yourself and then you want to turn the camera and show the surroundings you can't really do that easily because then you have to turn it around uh, manually set the focus on whatever you've got there, turn it back around to you, reset the focus back on you and this takes four or five seconds and especially if you're in sort of tourist mode when you're walking around you're seeing nice things you want to talk about them you want to quickly show something back to you carry on talking walking it's really not going to be practical and it's going to be frustrating for me so I decided to completely melt the credit card what I decided to get was the Canon EOS 77D. So this is almost exactly one step up from the camera that I've got now. So this one is the 77D. The camera I have right now is the 60D. This 77D is slightly newer than the 80 and there's a few little benefits. Uh, the 80D has weather sealing, which is quite nice and I'm a bit sad that I didn't get that. But where this one has some advantages over the 80, slightly newer, so it uses a, a newer image processing unit. Then also it uses more image stabilization technology. There's a five axis image stabilization, so that'll be handy for me doing video 
And that's just about it. They're pretty much the same size. This one's slightly smaller, a few millimeters, a few grams lighter maybe, you're not gonna notice it. So all in all, it's pretty much an ATD, but with a little bit more image stabilization. So let's jump in, have a look at it, see what we have in here. Let's use the obnoxiously large knife again. Mm. A little loose in there. That's not great. Whatever's in there that's loose, cannon. Come. Alright. It's okay guys, it's just the manual. So what do we have? A little pointless piece of paper, a hefty manual, yikes. And then a thousand million pages of different language warnings. All right. This is what it looks like inside. Nicely packaged. Aside from the bashing around manual, everything is nice and stable. So let's have a look what we have. We've got one of these good old Canon red straps. Then we've got a little power cable. Then we have the charger. Double wrapped in plastic. I don't know why this needs a second. I don't know why it needs a second one. Because it already had the bubble wrap. Let's go throw that in the ocean for the poor turtles. Um, this charger is slightly different to the 60D. So here they are. It looks like the battery is smaller for the new one. Uh, it looks like a different shape. Just as well I didn't buy extra batteries for the 60D. There's the battery, definitely different. It's small. A little pointless cap on there. Why? Very small little, little battery. Very nice. Very nice. And then we have the actual body. Mm. got kind of like a soft little packaging cover here. Very nice. Screen pops out, rotates every which way, which is nice. It feels almost identical to the 60D. It does feel smaller in your hand and um, perhaps it's just it's just kind of like a different texture. The smooth parts of it are a different texture. They're a little bit more rough, where the 60D has some smooth areas on it uh, that are really smooth. This has kind of all got a texture to it. I don't know what the kind of profound impact on that would be. There's a lock. It's got a nice little wheel. It feels nice. The buttons all feel very nice. They feel very familiar. This is quite nice. The power button, has off on and then straight to video which is quite nice because before there was the video was only on this little scroll wheel and so you had to kind of awkwardly scroll to the video there and then it was just kind of a pain to switch back to, to camera and, and that sort of thing so there we go shutter button still in the same spot let's plug in its new little lens mm. There it is. All right, I think what I need to do now, I'm gonna switch the rig that I'm, that I'm recording on right now for this new guy, and we're gonna see what the difference in the field of view is. So just take note of kind of what we can see here. You can kind of see if I put my hands out, they're just getting cut off on both sides. I think let's switch them. Look at how much more space there is. This is the camera that I've been recording on. This is the Rode Mic Video Mic Pro. And you can see how much bigger it is than uh, this micro that I've been, that I've just got now. Um, and also look at how tiny this lens is. <laughs> you can kind of see, you can't even see that there's a lens on this camera when you look at it from the side. But um, the nice thing is now, the theory is that this will be focusing in. So this should be all in focus. It is too, look at that. And look, I'm blurred at the background there. Ah, oh, this is magic. Mmm. Also nice, this one. Oh, 
this is great. I can see that it's focusing on my face again. This is fantastic. So this is the great thing about the autofocus. If I'm walking around, it's gonna stay attached to me. So let's try it out. So this is in focus. And look at how much you can see. Wow, this is fantastic. This is gonna be a pleasure. So let's see what the zoom's like. Okay, so that's all the way zoomed out. This is all the way zoomed in and it just stays in focus. Oh, that is so nice. All right, so for example, if I wanna spin this camera around and show you my screen here, we can get nice and close. This is the video that was on my card. And let's spin it back around again. And I'm back in focus. This is fantastic. All right, so that's the unboxing. What does the mic sound like? We'll see. We'll see what it sounds like. Well, that's it for me. Now I need to charge this battery fully because it's already giving me a warning. I need to charge this battery and I guess I need to um, play with this camera a little bit, see how this all works. And until then, later guys. <laughs>